we got to talk about Tim Pool, okay? Tim Pool. Tim Pool is having a bit of a gender journey, okay? Let's be real, okay? Tim Pool is having a bit of a gender journey, okay? Um, the beanie has been on rather tight for a long time. And um, see, I've talked about this before on my channel, but the right is in crisis right now. The right has no idea what the fuck they're doing right now because they genuinely didn't think that Biden could win. They genuinely thought that that Donald Trump was going to take over and and become king of the United States of America. And they literally believe and then when he didn't, they literally believed that QAnon was going to activate Spoon and that they were going to take over the country and oust the traitor Biden. And then when that didn't happen, they genuinely believed that Biden was CGI and had actually died. And then when that didn't happen, well, now we're here. Now we've now we've caught up to their timeline and, and they don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore. And so right now what they're they're sort of like oscillating between freaking out about the police and freaking out about um, or sorry, I should say not the police freaking out about people rightfully critiquing the police and freaking out about Mr. Potato Head. And Tim Pool, as you can see, are are basically is is basically doing this on like a on like a, a fast forward. To succeed in dating, women must allow themselves to be feminine. Police staying in blue cities prop up communities that hate them. Rittenhouse will likely get life in prison. Justice may not be served. Chauvin, dating apps make dating harder. Tech advances don't help. Women are so successful they can't find men who earn more. Childish men may be why U.S. women are not having more children. So as you can see, just rapidly oscillating between weird gender shit that doesn't make any sense and cop stuff. It's, it's, it's very strange, okay? And I saw this, I saw this because I was thinking, and, and you know, I, I do my thing like where I look around and I think about things that would be interesting to talk about on stream. And I realized, you know, we haven't talked about Tim Pool. We should check in and see. And I went and looked and I realized, Jesus Christ, this guy's having a gender thing. So let's find out what it's all about, right? Let's start with this. Let's figure out this thing about, uh, yeah, this is a little creepy, isn't it, huh? That's a little, little weird, huh? That's a little bit weird, huh? Anyway, let's, um, let's, let's figure out, let's find out what it is about the, uh, the, the men, huh? Let's find out what it is about, uh, what's it called? Childish men? I want to jump to this. Oh, oh, wait a second. I I'm sorry. Is, oh, wait, Tim Pool doesn't think he's a childish man, does he? Does Tim Pool not think that he's a childish man? Oh no, he doesn't realize it. He doesn't realize that a grown man who wears a beanie 100% of the time and has a skate park in his basement is is not exactly the pinnacle of masculinity. Oh no, he doesn't realize. Oh no, he doesn't know. Nobody tell him. Please, nobody tell him. Oh Jesus. Let's continue. This first story, which, uh, look, we, we, we're going to get into the, the census stuff for sure, but we're going to chill and we're going to talk about some of uh, an article you wrote four years ago, Melanie. So we have this from the New York Post. What? An article written four years ago? Oh, God. This is what did I tell you? They're desperate. They don't know what they're doing. They're reviewing an article from four years ago. Oh, my God. They have nothing. The right is just just reaching and they're not finding anything. Childish men are to blame for women having kids late in life. I wonder if that made men really angry at men or at you. But let just explain. What is this article about? So, as we know... Okay. I'm sorry. Listen. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. This is really mean, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
Oh no. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. I'm sorry. I have to. I have no choice. Ready? Okay, I'm mean. I'm sorry. I'm very mean. I'm so sorry. Not the mama. All right, let's continue. Generally, the writer doesn't actually write the headline, so I would just like to say it or <laughs> add the photo. Um, I That was not the point of the piece. The point of the piece is to say that Pew Research had new data that found that women are much more focused on marriage and parenthood than men are and also more focused on wow who saw that one coming women care more about marriage and families than men do in america shaka choo wow it's almost like what oh my god it's almost like that's literally the entirety of everything we've known forever Oh, whoa! Holy shit! It's almost like we've talked about this for three waves of feminism. Holy shit! On career than men are. And women have to know that they may not find the man that they want to be with as soon as they want to be with him and that they need to consider whether they want to you know, look at their fertility, freeze their eggs, consider, no, these are not, I haven't frozen my eggs, I didn't freeze my eggs, maybe they want to think about having a baby. Maybe on their own and save up for that, maybe they want to save up for IVF. So that was what the piece was about. It was never about making men feel like they are not worthy of women. How did, how did, how did that come about then? How did they make your article about that? Because that's how headlines work. I mean, well, they, is, it, is it because it, men, by, by, by virtue of what you're saying, they conclude that men aren't focused on family and career correct. enough, so they're calling yeah. them childish men? I feel like Tim feels a little called out by that title. Look at this guy. He's so mad. He's like, just because, just because I spend 18 hours in my skate room doesn't mean I'm not a childish man. It doesn't mean I'm not a man. I'm a manly man. Was it a dude editor who was like, these men are losers? No. And I love my editor. My editor is amazing. No. But uh -oh. some men uh, did certainly get upset. In fact, there was one that decided we needed like a Talmudic track you know, treaties on this. It was an hour long. A know, Talmudic treatise? Treatise? Like, is, is that, I'm, I'm confused, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, opinion piece on how I was wrong, even though he was talking about the data that is Pew Research data, it did upset a lot of men, and that frankly upset me because I actually love men, and I love boys, and I'm a champion of men. Cut! Cut! Men and boys. So, and I don't think that men and boys are childish, but I do think... Uh -oh. that uh -oh. we have a problem in uh -oh. America whereby uh -oh. we are so uh -oh. focused on girls and women and their power and empowerment that boys and men kind of fall into the background. And I think that if we want to 
enable women to have all that they want, we need to raise boys and men up. I don't know. You, you, you run into trouble when you start talking about this stuff because even though right now women are the majority of those graduating college, the narrative is still that they're the minority and they're in the weaker position. Shouldn't we start getting rid of these women's programs and start propping up men's programs to encourage men to get? I'm not a fan of college, by the way. So this is not. God, Tim Pool is an idiot. I don't even like college, but um, you know, I, I, if I did, if I did care about college, well, then shouldn't we have men's programs so we can get less WOMs in college? And you know, an apology or or me now supporting it? No, no, no. But just for the general context, mm -hmm. shouldn't the what? What just for the general? What does that mean? Just for the general context? What is those? What do those words mean? You feminists be like, oh, we gotta support the minority, and that's the men now. I, you know, I don't know that you have to take anything away from girls. Girls should be able to reach their potential. Um, the problem is that we've forgotten boys. So yes, girls in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, girls have to, you know, get equity with boys and wonderful, fine, not a problem with that. The issue is that boys are falling way behind in literacy and we don't talk about that. Feminism has gone so far. It's gone too far. It has definitely has nothing to do with our ailing, our our absolutely ailing um, school system, which doesn't address educational needs at all. And it just so happens that in a school system that is designed, um, that is designed to basically factory churn out children, um, that that girls who tend to mature slightly earlier in our society do a little better when it comes to that type of structure because there's it's not been updated since the 1920s maybe maybe you should look into that maybe we should try try fixing the educational system god do you think that all, wait, do you think, do we think that maybe, maybe every single conservative person is just drunk 24 seven now? Do you think that's possible? Because like these takes are so bad. They're not even coherent sometimes. Like they're not even like, and I mean, I mean, come on, look at this. But I mean. By age six, boys don't want to read with their mommy anymore because they think it's too girly. And wait, it has nothing to do with that. This has nothing to do with this. They live in a different reality. These people are and, stupid. And um, they don't want to read with the family anymore because it's just not something. Just not something that they want to do. It's not. Ju it's just not something that they want to do. Nice, nice. Oh my God! What God tier insight! I'm so happy you had this expert on to tell us that boys don't want to read with the family anymore because it's just reasons that they don't want to do. Oh my God! How would we have? How would we ever survive without such? incredible five-headed takes oh my god how would we ever all oh. and we tend to again focus on girls in stem and I, you know i'm a i'm what does girls in stem have to do with reading at home what the fuck does girls in stem have anything to do with there's literally like there's basically no fucking women in stem still that hasn't changed it's been like 10 years since we people actually started challenging that and it hasn't changed it hasn't been long enough even what are you talking about a toy industry expert i go to toy fair every year and other toy events and i remember i went to one once major company and they had dolls um fairy tale princess dolls and with them came books so this princess had this book and this princess had, and then we went around and the the, the sort of more superhero characters were just the the dolls where's the book do you want to know why this is do you want to know why this is do you want to know why they don't do that do you know why they don't give you a book with the superhero because that's fucking queer that's some queer shit why are you giving my boy a sandwich with words in it i want him to have a gun and a truck and some truck nuts that's why that's why that's why the boy toys don't come with fucking books oh my god i'm losing my mind i'm actually losing my mind oh my god i'm losing it 
I'm actually going insane. Holy shit. That's why. The reason why the princesses come with books is because fucking dads will be like, yep, my girl's reading. She's gonna, she's gonna be able to read a cookbook real good. And then the boy is like, hey, do you want your son to have a book? It's like, what's the book about? It's like, well, it's about having conversation with your friends. Friends, that shit's fucking gay. That's what happens, okay? This is what happens. It's literally toxic masculinity as to why boy toys don't come with fucking books. Oh my God. These people are so fucking catastrophically stupid. What do you mean? There's no book with these. Wait, you think I'm joking about that? No. Do you know what the state of American masculinity is right now? Holy shit. The state of American masculinity right now is like, all right, son, I need to teach you how to grow up and be a man. The first thing that you do when you become a man is you cough on everyone you meet. And you want to remove, you want to remove the filter on your muffler so that you're kicking out as much pollution as possible. All righty, son, that's how you prove that you're a responsible man. Right. This was your perfect opportunity to engage boys in literacy. This is how you do it. They want to read. Interestingly, the, the assumption is that because boys are in the, in the privileged position, they don't need help. And from right. that, we've created a massive no. disparity. No. In how no, 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 no. This is not how it works. Okay, I'm gonna explain this. I'm gonna explain this for everyone. I'm gonna explain the facts of it, okay? Here's a little secret, okay? And we're gonna take, we're gonna take weird queerbos like me out of the mix. So for a minute, we're gonna imagine I know, I know the conservatives, the, the five conservatives who are going to ever bother watching this. I know you might be shocked. You're going to be happy to live in a world where there's only, only males and females, okay? For just a second, for just 10 minutes, okay? The reason why schools can't help boys and don't help boys right now and why boys suffer with literacy is because boys tend to have this thing called testosterone. And testosterone, even young boys, are influenced by testosterone in the womb. And what that tends to mean is that boys are a little bit more rambunctious for longer periods of time than girls are. And girls, they're just a little chiller in general. And these are very broad generalizations. But what this means is that when you extrapolate that over an educational system, it means that our educational system doesn't have the tools to make room for boys to get their energy out during the school day. But girls don't have as much needs to get their energy out during the school day, so they do better in school. This has been studied extensively. That is the actual reason why there is a disparity. But we don't fund our schools. Our schools haven't updated in a hundred years. So as a result, boys get shafted early on because they kind of just get, to, they just go, whatever. The boys are having a fist fight in the bathroom again because our, our teachers are, are incapable of, of keeping up with them. Our, we don't do recess anymore because, well, you know, that's a liability. We could get sued. That's why. It's because we don't, we haven't adjusted our school system in a hundred years. Inactivity is actually really hard. Why did boys outperform girls before? If that's because, first of all, schools used to include a lot more physical activity, which meant that boys, with their other societal advantages, outpaced girls. Also, there was a very different cultural... There was a very different cultural past. In the past, girls wouldn't even be allowed to go to school. They would be taken out of school frequently. So boys outperformed girls because there weren't any girls there. Holy shit, people. God, oh no. Oh God, oh no. Oh no, we're entering an era where, where, oh God, oh no. We're entering an era where people don't even know history that happened 10 years ago. Oh God, oh no. Oh shit. Oh, I'm gonna have to become a teacher. Right, you know, it's a it's, fallacy. It's absolutely a fallacy. Well, so then the issue I suppose is how are boys supposed to catch back up to girls by going slower than they are or at the same pace? What? Wouldn't well, you need special programs? And wouldn't I know you then I already need to take away programs from women? I know. I already am a teacher. I, I've realized that. Listen, I've realized that in our busted ass system, 
that I'm basically I, I, like I know Hassan Hassan jokes about r doing daycare you know Hassan is always like Hassan is like all right it's time for daycare I gotta boot up my stream it's time for daycare and all the zoomers rush into chat and they hang out but I realize that's actually kind of true like uh, our, our entire country is in collapse and like we've been living in a pandemic and I realized that now I like I'm I'm basically like a supplemental teacher because kids just go to school and they're all depressed and their teachers are depressed and they don't even go into school anymore so they're just like playing Fortnite on their computer instead of listening in class and it's up to me to try and teach basic stuff to everybody in an entertaining way. I'm actually okay with that, all right? I'm going to do my best, all right? It's all right. I, I, I'm going to do my best, everybody. I'm going to do my best, okay? I know I'm not going to succeed. I can't be as good as a teacher as everybody else, but I'm going to do my best, okay? If I remember correctly, there was a researcher that ran an IQ test on boys versus girls, and when the results showed that girls were smarter than boys, he literally went, that's not right, and cut out the parts that the girls got right and replaced them with things the boys would get. Oh, my God. I feel like I remember that, too, but I'm not 100% sure. Nah, listen, I'm not going to indoctrinate anybody. I'm going to try and teach them to think for themselves. I'm going to teach them to think for, my, for themselves. I know, I, I know. Listen, I told you, I, I said this, season two, we're leaning on the mama side of things, okay? Season two of Demon Mama, we're, we're embracing the mama side. The demon's still there, but we're embracing the mama side because I know that people need that right now. We're in hard times and we need some mama energy and that's what I'm doing, okay? All right, let's continue. You know, I'm not an educator, so I don't know what we would need to take away from girls. And frankly, I don't think we need to take anything away from girls. I think what happens that boys, classrooms are set up for the way girls learn. Sit still. Listen. <gasps> oh, wait. She's actually going to explain it. Holy shit. Then she might get it right. notes. Behave yourself. Don't move around. Boys need to move around, you know, but we, then they get in trouble. And then they don't go back to class. And we've we've shrunken recess, so boys aren't moving around. With what? Wait a minute! She actually said it. Then why did she make the opposite argument before? When they have the chance. All to right, move all right. I'm giving this lady a point. I'm giving her points. Around. you know, some kids, even girls who have, you know, some form of of ADD, they need to move in order to learn. But we don't want kids to do that. Kids learn through play. If you want to teach a child, especially a child zero to three. The best way to help them learn is to help them play. So, yes, we need to help boys. The way we do it is to consider how they learn. And we need to decide that boys have great potential. And if we believe in boys, boys will begin to believe in themselves. And if boys believe in themselves, they will then go to high school. And if they graduate high school, if they graduate high school, they may go to college if they want to and continue whatever it is that they want to do or no go to college. All right, are you ready? Okay, I feel like maybe, I feel like this lady might be struggling to, to deal with Tim Pool and I might've been a little too mean. Not go to college, whatever it is, we just need maybe to give I was too a mean. chance. What do we do about men now though? In terms of? Uh, not being career driven, hmm. not having families. Yeah, it's, it's. What careers? What families? Everyone's poor, you idiot. Everyone's poor. We just lived through a pandemic and 600,000 people died. What do you mean not career driven? Nobody can get a house. It's, it's sad. It's sincerely sad. Alex Royvis, I really like your name, by the way. Don't go. Listen. Listen. Don't go into the basement, okay? Don't. Don't go into the basement, okay? Sad. I'm sad for the boys. I'm sad for the men. Um, we have focused. You know what's in the basement, right? Do you know what Alex Royvis discovers in the basement? Nobody gets it, huh? Don't go into the basement. There's an Eldritch City there. Again, so much on women that well, women have become more masculine um, because we've been told generation. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, I'm re I'm revoking the based. I'm revo I'm revoking the based. I'm revoking the based. Pargon, Pargon. There we go. I'm revoking the based. Next, millennials. I'm that, a you demon, know, anything bitch. Boys can do. Girls can do better. And you know, in the '80s, women. I was there. Women butch were, hooters. You know, shoulder pads. I'm here for it. I'm here for butch hooters. I'm here for it. 
pads, pantsuits. We have to be masculine. And we're taught, you know, now more recently, you have to Oh, you thought I was you thought I was referencing AOT? No, I'm re I'm referencing Eternal Darkness, an incredible game on the game on the GameCube. And um and it's a super super good game. But anyway, there's a character named Alex Royvis, okay? And Alex Royvis discovers some scary things, all right? Lean in at work. You know, you have to take on the way that men work. The way it's your that favorite game? It's one of, it's, you know, I really love it. It's one, it, it is, it is a very influential game and I really like it. I really like it. So good taste on that. Well, to them. And so women became more masculine. And when you go on a date, women, no, no, I, I'm okay. No, I'll pick the place. Oh, no, no. Let me play. Let me pay. And then you've got the men who don't feel like they're contributing anything. And men want to feel like they're needed, like they're going to add value to this fabulous woman's life. And women should start to become a little more feminine and understand that femininity is not... Weak. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm definitely revoking the based point. I thought that I... Oh, why does it like this? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Hey, at least I don't have to reshoot the segment. I was I was feeling bad. I was thinking we were gonna have to just let this one go, but now I don't. No, I don't gotta. I don't feel bad anymore. <laughs> yes. That's the issue. We have the same I got thing. Away. Men means oh they're scary and it's toxic and toxic. Hey, we got more hate in chat. Masculinity if they're a man who behaves like a man. And if a woman behaves like a woman, well then she must be weak and fragile and no, no, there is more power in femininity. In fact, it's true, I believe, that femininity is the one thing that can bring a man to his knees. Wow! Okay, all right. We know the, f we found the femdom. We found the femdom. We found the femdom when you accidentally let your kink slip. Whoopsies! Horny on main over here. I've often uh, mentioned that I think feminism in today's day and age is actually anti-femininity and pro-masculinity. They what? like to go after what they call toxic masculinity. But the way I, I break it down is we often hear about like women must be CEOs. Oh, no. you know, we need more women doing that job and that job. And while there are conversations about having men stay at home with the kids, there's not a big demand for it the same way. Right? Yes, there is. There's a massive demand. Oh my God, there's been a massive demand for, for for generations, Tim. You just don't know what you're talking about. You're just a shut-in. So I, I just, I, I'm. when did this happen where the the, the role of the, the, the maternal role just became irrelevant to society? And I don't mean complete. It isn't. Oh God. Oh, God. It's all good, Joe Biden. Go get some rest. Go get some rest. Thanks for coming by. Happy to have you. But to a greater deal, where now it's like, no, 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 no. The moms and the dads should be in the workforce and, you know, I don't know, have oh, child care. We should. Oh, now, oh, what's really oh, fascinating to me oh, is. Oh, he's so close. He was so close. He was so close to getting why parental roles have fallen by the wayside. Oh, it's because they're poor. It's because they're poor. That's why they both have to work. Kids don't have parents at all. Oh, he almost had it. Oh. They advocate for like government paid health care. I'm sorry, uh, child care, guaranteed child care. And it's like, shouldn't the parents have some system where they take care of their kids? Instead, it's the maternal role is being shoved down and women and men should both be in the workforce. Sure. Well, so to be fair, today with the economy, it happens that often enough, both parents need to work wait so oh no oh no she's doing it again she's gonna get the right take and then she oh what's she gonna do oh my god please what's gonna happen so there's that too so let's set that aside but, it, but, but is this that is a such result? a thrill this is I, okay i went from this is the most entertaining tim pool video i've ever watched i went from Listen, Tim Pool videos are usually a snooze fest but i've been on the edge of my seat this entire time trying to figure out what they're gonna say next of Women in the workplace? It, it could be. You double the supply of workers, the demand doesn't change. All of a sudden, everyone's undercutting each other's wages. It could be. I'm not an economist, and so I, I, I don't either. know that, yeah, I don't know <laughs> that I can speak to it, but it, it could be, and I've thought about that myself. Um, yeah, it's true that this, this idea that, you know, we don't have enough women, CEOs, higher management, et cetera, you know, basically doesn't 
answer the uh, the question of whether or not women want that. Wait, what? What? If it was a matter of CEOs, the women would have enough money to stay at home while they work, you idiot. It's not about CEOs, you... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I don't even know, like, they're like... This is like this is like they're they're hitting the bullseye, but they're hitting the bullseye on the wrong target Like they have their own little they have their own Target they're supposed to be shooting at but they're hitting their neighbor's bullseye instead of their own So like they're getting pieces of it, right? But like not the pieces that have anything to do with what they're talking about like yes Yes, she was correct in saying that both parents are working, but it's not because there's too many women getting CEO positions, you fucking clown. It's because both parents have to work nine gig economy jobs to even pay for their child's school supplies. What are you talking about? Oh, no. Oh, God. And it's not to say that women don't want to reach their potential, but their potential isn't necessarily in in the office and we've created this narrative who are you to decide keep fighting you know and the glass ceiling and all this not all women want that and that's okay too in fact women have it pretty well because a woman can go to college she can get like a law degree and you know get married and have a child and decide you know what how many women lawyers even are there right now hold on Hold on. Only 37% of all lawyers are women. Wait a second. Listen. Hold on a second. One in three lawyers are women. That means it's 66. 66% 66 of lawyers are men. Female attorneys work full-time year-round on average more than the average for all working women, but less than male attorneys. They're also more likely to work for the government and less likely to be self-employed. That, wait a minute, a government, what? That's hu That's actually huge. You do realize that the rich lawyers are not government lawyers. Government lawyers make jack shit. The self-employed lawyers who own their own firm are the ones with the bucks, and that's all men. Oh my god. God, Tim Pool is just fractally incorrect about everything. Oh god. Oh my god, it's so painful. It always is so easy. Oh god. I'm I miss my kid every time I leave him, and I just want to be home, and I want to be mom, and my husband is can afford to, to take care of us. Women have that choice, it's extraordinary. And yet we talk about women as if we're sort of always limited by the quote unquote patriarchy. Um, I, 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 why do you think they have that choice? I kind of feel like right now, guys aren't uh, on, on average doing as well. I mean, that's kind of the point of the conversation. Mm -hmm. They're not making as much money, they're not as driven. I think also they're not as worried because they've got all the time in the world as far as they're concerned. So if a woman is, you know, doing well in her career and she wants to then have a, a, a you know, family and have the husband work, she's got to contend with the fact that there's probably not, as it's, it's going to be hard to find a guy. Oh my God, he's doing the Molyneux meme. He's about to do, he's about to drop the Molyneux meme. He's about to drop it because, oh, because her eggs are going to expire. Oh my God, he's going to do it. For, for a few reasons. One, who's making enough money to support the family should she choose to opt out who's going to be interested in a woman who has a career even. Maybe mm -hmm. the guy just wants somebody, he wants a wife from the, from the get-go. You also have the issue, we have uh, uh, our friend Jack Murphy comes on the show quite a bit, and he talks about how he thinks guys should go for women 10 years younger than them who don't. He's doing it! He's doing the egg meme! Oh no, he's doing the egg meme! Oh, he's doing the egg meme. Oh, he's doing the egg meme. Do any of this. Get someone who's 22, mm -hmm. marry her, and just get a housewife. Don't worry about someone who's got a career. Mm -hmm. So if you have that mentality, how does a career woman then, you know, have what you're describing? So actually, Maureen Dowd wrote about this, not bad in New York Times in 2005, how 
what men really want is their mother, and I agree. Um, and <laughs> you made a gross noise. <laughs> I made a gross face. I was. I made a gross face. Don't worry. <laughs> oh no. Okay, hundred bucks. One hundred bucks. This lady. This lady has a mom dom. Only fans. No shame. No shame. But she absolutely has a mom dom. Only fans. No doubt. No fucking doubt. I would be willing to put money on it. And the problem is that this generation were not their mother. Gen X. What? What did she just say? I'm sorry. What did she just say? Uh... <coughs> I have what you're describing. So actually, Maureen Dowd wrote about this, not bad in New York Times in 2005. How Two thousand? No. Okay. What men really want is their mother, and I agree. Um, and the problem is that this generation were not their mother. Gen X was able to do things that our mothers couldn't do. When you know women um, who graduated high school in the fifties, you know, if you look at their yearbook, you know what they were going to be was teacher, nurse, nun, secretary. Those are her choices. If you're Jewish, you only had three. So, you know, what, what were these women, uh, what, were, what was Gen X millennial women going to do? Hey, guess what? Listen, I hate to tell you this, but nuns, nuns don't have sex. So not a lot of people had moms who were nuns, okay? All right? Sorry. Just, just a reminder. Once we went to college we did everything right you know there's no reason why we shouldn't go to college no reason why we shouldn't pay the rent you know and then in terms of this career woman thing there are no career men nobody accuses a man of 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 prioritizing having a job over everything else in his life i mean i i always wanted to marry and have children very much so if i didn't have a career i mean you basically be you know paying my my way through life as a taxpayer right because I wouldn't be employed. So, you know, women have to take care of themselves. They have to have agency. But yeah. Um, Does she not realize that this, that this world locks men? Like, the world that she's advocating for locks men into the position of always having to do the career. Her world is incompatible with stay-at-home dads. They don't even realize they're talking circles around each other. So fucking annoying. So women do, uh, men do want their mother and we're not their mothers, which isn't to say that women d aren't nurturing, women don't want to do this, that women don't um, want to nurture and take care of their husbands and take care of their partners. I know most women do want that. They also though want to know that if they're going to go through <coughs> childbirth, which can be fatal, that there's, a man there who's going to be there and certainly if God forbid what what my wife male wife <laughs> listen she likes boy wives okay listen she said it earlier in this she likes her boy wives all right she loves men she loves boys she loves her boy wives okay she didn't survive that be there for the child be able to pay for the child and i mean this in an evolutionary <laughs> evolutionary way she may not be thinking evolutionary oh no but please yeah and so it is difficult and this is why we have so many women who are um the the new just newly released data a woman is the average age of marriage for a woman is 27 just 20 years ago it was 25 wow what, is I that supposed to be print? Wait, what is that? What's that mean? What does that mean? Who can't? What? What does that even mean? We have so many women who are 
Um, the the new, just newly released data. A woman is. This newly released data, it released right now from my ass. The average age of marriage for a woman is twenty seven. Just twenty years ago, it was twenty five. Oh, uh, okay. Just twenty years ago, it only it only changed by it only changed by two years over twenty years. What? Honey, wake up! New data just dropped. Women are waiting on average two years more than they used to. That means men want to fuck their mom. Wow. I wonder if, uh, as Jordan Jordan Peterson mentions, wow. enforced monogamy. Are you familiar with the uh, yes. the term? Yes. It doesn't mean what I think a lot of the feminists yeah. thought it me meant, like the government would come and like force women to marry some incel dude or something like that. Right. But you're talking about. You know, women want to be secure. They want to know that if they're going to have a kid, they're going to be protected or safe or have someone to take care of them. Isn't that what marriage did? Yeah. That's Does anybody remember what the 50s were like? Does anybody anybody know? Listen, have any of you have any of you ever actually sat down and talked with your grandparents like um listen, I don't know if you all know this, but like the 1950s was not a nice time for anybody, really. Okay? People got married and stuck together for their life, even though they hated each other's guts. Like, like, listen, my grandma, a ra the racist monarchist grandmother of mine, Both of her husbands were drunks and physically abusive, okay? Both of her husbands. One of them was a cocaine runner, okay? Not kidding you. A literal cocaine runner, okay? Who left and started and, jo and became a cocaine runner because, because he fucking hated being home so much, okay? Listen, the 1950s, 1950s style marriages they were not so they were not very good okay not very good all right they wait they were good okay listen when you have to join into the cocaine fucking the fucking cocaine uh industry so that you can escape your annoying wife that ain't a happy marriage okay listen please my friend had to literally flee the holy shit 30k 94 thank you very much Hollywood for the five dollars appreciate that jesus christ yeah, when you hate your marriage so much, you decide to invest all of your savings in a shitty bush plane so you can run cocaine to South America. That's certainly what marriage did. And that's what, right, the idea is that we should have a culture to, you know, encourage boys and men. No, 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 no. Yoris McPearl, it's even sadder. He wasn't a drug lord. He was just a, a he was just like a shit level drug runner. Like as in shit level drug runner who just ended up like dying from alcoholism. I'm not kidding you. It's pathetic. It's sad. This is it's very sad. To he was a mule, that's, yeah. That's a good thing. And now they're not really encouraged to do that. And and partly it's it is, you know, certainly so in terms of the college graduation, so a fifty eight percent of college graduates now, brand new data are women, forty two percent men. So and women tend to want to marry a man, even if she's got Higher. I sell cocaine and cocaine accessories. <laughs> now that's some clean burning coke. <laughs> you know, she never has to worry again about her income. She still wants to marry a man who's marry who is making at least the same amount of money. And of course, there aren't enough men who have that potential. And it. Thanks for checking out this clip what? from the Tim Cast. Wait, it just cuts off in the middle of her sentence. I know it's coke, but listen, it was it was it was, was it was for the joke, okay? Listen, I know it was crack. I know, I know. Listen, I know it's crack. It's just listen, it was for the joke, okay? I know. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, I, I I'm so dying. Oh my god, I'm so dying. <sighs> what did I tell you all? What did I tell you all about, Tim? You want to you wanna double down? Shall we double down? We're doubling down. That's right, everybody. I'm taking you on a journey. We're doubling down. 
We're doubling down. Okay. You ready? Ready? Here we go. When it comes to dating, I tell women, it's okay to be feminine. It's okay. No, no, you don't have to pick the restaurant. You don't have to offer to pay. The man knows what he's getting. I thought the stereotype was that women couldn't choose the restaurant. I thought the stereotype was like, oh, my wife, every time we go on to town, my wife can't decide whether we're going to the taco place or the pizzeria. I thought that was the stereotype. Not that like women have to pick the restaurant. I thought it was, I thought it was like, oh, my wife can't never decide what she wants to eat because she's so hormonal that she can't decide what she wants to eat. Oh, I hate my wife himself into he's prepared <laughs> we know what this is it's a dance and it's okay now it doesn't mean you never reciprocate other way but let him court you let him get, give him the opportunity to show you why he's no you want to know the of you what? what it's not that they don't wait do you think women don't give men the opportunity it's just that men just fucking sit on their phone playing league of legends mobile while out and then they're the women are like oh i wish this i wish this guy would fucking court me i wish oh my god and then the guy's just like oh did you just see i just got three kills in top lane <laughs> i'm gonna be a pro someday and then i'm like hey hey you're looking kind of bored you want to come hang out with me and my girlfriends and then the girl's like oh shit please thank god let's get out of here this league of legends nerd and then we go over and we go and hang out at the other table and then afterwards i had add a new member to my polycule you know that sort of thing sorry what uh what was i talking about that's what he wants to show you don't say i don't need you to help pick the wine i can pick my you know what it's wine unless it's chardonnay because i really hate chardonnay it's a <laughs> Chardonnay. Oh no. When you know, when you know she's got a wine problem. <laughs> How did that happen? No. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. Oh God. Oh my God. Okay. You're not going to die. Can I watch from that again? The... I'm sorry. Oh. Oh God. I don't need you to help pick the wine. I can pick my, you know what? It's wine, unless it's Chardonnay, because I really hate Chardonnay. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so perfect. She's like, I hate, fucking hate Chardonnay. And I, I bet, I bet every time, she's so frustrated. She's so disappointed with men. You can tell this is the face of a woman who hates every single man that she's dated in the last 15 years. She's like, God, why do you keep playing League of Legends? okay you're not good you're not stop gonna... ordering me chardonnay you bitch and then she puts on the like then she gets the, the fucking riding crop out and she's like whap i told you i don't like chardonnay die from the fact that he chose this cabernet sauvignon just let him do it it's okay he wants to give to you in fact a great way to turn man on is to ask him to help you i i kind of feel like that What? What? Men, men in chat, my sis, my, 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 my sis and trans men in chat. Oh, oh, the men in chat, men in chat, please tell me. Is it true? Do you get turned on when women ask you, can you open this can for me? Does that make you horny? Is that what it does? I can't, I can't help you on this because I'm not a man. Men, please, is that what makes you horny? Is that it? I thought it was like, like, judging by what I see on Twitter, what men really like is when a, is when a femboy, um, when a femboy is like, oops, daddy, oops, I dropped my Game Boy, now I have to get it, hold on. That's what I think that, I think that's what men are into these days, is that accurate? Is that, is that, am I, am I correct? Is that more, that feels like that's more what men are into right now. As a straight man, I only get turned on by femboy bussy. <laughs> I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs>
<laughs> this is going to be a great video segment. Whoever watches this later on YouTube is going to have a very good day. No, it makes you go, Bwah, my superior cross-hatched collagen when they can't open jars. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. This, a lot of this has to do with, at some point, there was a fracture in our society that resulted in two different factions, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. We have the culture war today. A lot of people trying to figure out if it's left versus right, nationalist versus globalist or authoritarian, whatever. And what? when, I, when, I, when I hear stories like this, you, you uh, as a guy, you never know what ideology the woman holds. What? And so are you even what are you allowed? What are they talking about now? So you mentioned what the guys want to court Oh, no. Well, oh, if no. you go to like a... Listen, we're only a minute in and we're so lost. We're so lost. You never know what ideology. Are they a globalist? Are they a nationalist? Are they a... Uh, do they want to fuck their, their mother? I don't know anymore. The straights are not okay. The straights are really not okay. Holy shit. Sports pub. You're probably going to bump into a guy who knows nothing about critical theory and feminism. And they'll probably start hitting on you. Mm. If you're in a big city, though, and you go to like a hipster bar, the guys won't go anywhere near you because so you're not allowed to. Right. So, so, I mean, you, you look. <laughs> no, no. That's not why, Tim Pool. Tim Pool. It's not because it's not because they're scared of women. It's because they're distracted by they're distracted by the the cute little femboy in the corner. That's what that's what the problem is. It's those goddamn femboys. They're stealing all of our men. They're stealing the men. Look at that video that uh, went viral. Uh, you, uh, you see, it was uh, uh, ten hours of walking in New York as a woman. <laughs> Remember that one? Oh yeah. So oh. some of these things that were depicted as wrong was a guy saying, howdy, or like, nice day, or how, how you doing? And, and, and hello. It's terrible. That's, if, that, if that's, if, if, if that's <laughs> the message we're getting from mainstream media, then what guy is going to risk his reputation, his career, and then even if he does get married, get divorced at some point, and then just lose everything and his kids? Mm -hmm. Society is currently being set up in a way that is telling men to do everything they can not to get married, and they're happy. No responsibility. They can sit around playing video games all day. I think it's bad for the spirit. And <laughs> in the law playing video, yes, Tim Pool is a man who knows much about the power of the spirit. Everyone knows that if you sit on your ass and play too much Call of Duty, your spirit will rot. Very well. Look, is Tim is Tim Pool trying to pivot into like Jordan Peterson's area? Like, what the fuck? Long term, the purpose and, and, you know, of our society. But I think this is just another factor that's resulting in the collapse of American culture. And I mean, it is true. I did make a joke about dudes playing uh, League of Legends at a date. But that was more about, like, not understanding what you're supposed to do at a date versus. This woman is the author of a book named Savvy Auntie, The Ultimate Guide for Cool Aunts. The jokes write themselves. Western culture? Yeah. Over, I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I don't want to say it's that we have too much freedom or anything like that, that we can choose to just self-gratify, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we are wealthy. He's talking about jacking off right there. He just, he's talking about jacking off, by the way. That's what he's talking about right there. A successful country, so we can play video games all day. We can drink Mountain Dew and eat Taco Bell and have to worry about a thing. I don't think that it's our choice, you know, our, our ability to do the, to do these things. I think it's the pressures of of uh, it's it's man. I, I go back to like uh, what we were mentioning earlier with doubling the workforce in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. What? As soon as people were like, you know, we should have women in the workplace if they so choose, it became part of a movement that they should be in the workplace. What, right. what is he? All of a sudden, what is he talking about? What? What does this have to do with jerking off and eating Taco Bell? The pressures of self-gratification lead you to double up the workforce so that you eat more Taco Bell and Mountain Dew? What? Sudden then, you double the workforce without increasing demand, and everyone's competing and wages are dropping. Then they what? say, okay, we got to have a minimum wage to guarantee it, but there's still not enough jobs, so then some people don't have jobs. Once Me that too. happens and everyone's wages are depressed, oh, there's a lot of other factors as to why that happens. You have all of these factors building up over decades that result in a generation of people who are not 
compatible in terms of long-term relationships and families. You want to know what they could do instead? Here's what they can do. Let me tell you some advice, okay, everybody? If you're a dude, if you're a dude who just wants to eat Taco Bell and jerk off, and you can't find any women who want to eat Taco Bell and jerk off, you could find another dude that wants to eat Taco Bell and jerk off, and you can just be bros together, and you can jerk off together, and wa and and eat Taco Bell, and someday you can adopt a child. Because there's tons of children who need adoption. Yeah, it's like it's like whoa, damn, oh shit, what the fuck? And guess what? If you're like me and you're a dumb bitch who likes to stream and eat Taco Bell, you can just find some other dumb bitches who also like to eat Taco Bell and watch you stream and it all works. It's really great. It's actually super cool. You don't have to you don't have to panic about some sort of imagined crisis. It's all good. You can just just just, you know, just no homo it up with your bro with your bros and eat some Taco Bell and jerk off together. Yeah. No, it's it's depressing and it's sad and and I think that we are too focused. It's depressing and it's sad. She knows she's making money off of this shit. Focused on the narratives of how to be a woman means, you know, to be president of the United States, to be That's okay, nuts. Here's the secret. The secret is I was joking. There are tons of women there are fuckloads of women out there who really like just who like men. All right. There are fuckloads of women out there who like men who can appreciate a good night of Taco Bell, Mountain Dew Baja Blast, and video games. I promise you. I promise you, they're out there. I promise you, more than you can imagine. And now that the pandemic is wrapping up, you go get yourself a vaccine, you find yourself some some vaccinated girls. Oh man, you know how many, you know how many, listen, let me tell you this. I can tell you as somebody who's gone out into the world recently because I'm vaccinated, nobody remembers how to socialize. What happens is people go outside and they start panicking and getting sweating. Basically everybody has social anxiety right now. So if you go out and you meet a girl and you're like, hey, you're kind of pretty. And she's like, oh, oh, thanks and then you're like uh i'm panicking are you panicking why don't we go back to my house and eat taco bell and play video games together and then she's like sure do you want to jerk off too and then you'll be like yeah that sounds great and it'll work out amazing i promise you i promise you it's it's yeah listen it's all good i promise you okay yeah we've 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 been teleported back in time to like monkey what a time to be alive. Everyone's just throwing fruit at each other. <laughs> Today, Vosh said we should make friends with our neighbors soon, and it made me no <laughs> nearly made me nauseous with anxiety. I know that feeling. Yeah. Don't worry. Your neighbors heard it. Your neighbors heard it through the wall and started panicking too. <laughs> As the United States to be the top <clears throat> echelon of everything. And, um, I mean, I... All the power to every woman, and I certainly strive. Oh, sick, Roman. Okay, that's cool. They'll be chill then. The, They'll be chill. To reach my potential, and I'm so grateful to live in, in a country that enables me um, to do that. Uh, but um, the truth is different than the narrative, and the truth is that most women become mothers. Most women want to be mothers, which isn't to say that there aren't women who are child-free by choice, and I honor and champion the choice. Everybody should do what they need and want to I do. Know, I don't feel like you do. The issue is that men are feeling, and I hear what you're saying, why should I get off the couch? First of all, I can sext her, and because she oh, likes me. Oh, no! But iPhone! But iPhone! Oh, no! Now we're getting into the boomer takes! Sexting! Oh! And wants my attention, she'll sex back, so I don't even need to take her out on a date. Right, and if I take what <laughs> this lady has, I told you this lady has the lowest opinion of men you can possibly imagine. This woman has it hates men so goddamn much. Holy shit! Holy fuck! We're out on a date. I mean, she's gonna make me feel like I'm not a man because she's gonna like not let me participate in. I don't, I don't think that's an issue. Uh, no. when no. I go when I when I go out on my date. My, 
if I if I'm not if I don't win at League of Legends, this girl that I'm gonna see is gonna tear my balls off because feminism told her that the only way for her to to assert her dominance is to steal the balls of another man, so she could become a man. Oh, this they, these people sound insane. These people sound fucking insane. <laughs> True, Vermin. Vermin says straight women hate men so much. I feel so bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry everybody. This is this is straight phobia hour. Get the fuck out. This is straight phobia hour. All right. Brought to you brought to you, sponsored by Vermin. <laughs> Poor things. <laughs> I'm going to lose it. I'm going to fucking lose it. I mean, it, it <sighs> maybe, maybe it depends on generation. You know, so maybe yeah. older guys really want that. I, I, oh my me God. personally, I've never really cared much for if a woman was like, I want this, I'd be like, whatever, I don't care. Like, right, yeah. no, no, what she, right. So, what, what women want, so women, modern women want old fashioned romance. Now, many feminists will say, no, that's not true. But that's really what old women fashioned, want what women want. Listen to me, everybody. It's a, it's time for me to tell you, women, you know what they want? They just want you to kill their suitor with a nice steel blade. And when you, or if you get killed by the suitor, they want that too. They want somebody to die so that you can win their heart over, okay? You get a, you get a steel blade, you say, heavy, heavy wretch, I challenge you for this lady's heart. I challenge you for this lady's heart. Ah, onward, my stallion. Whap. And then you go do, 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 into battle. And then if you manage to chop off her suitor's head, you become the suitor. Oh, because incredible. Because they are working so hard. They are working hard in their career. Those who have careers, right? They're working hard there but also they are nurturers. So they're working on their friendships. And their what? Are calling they're, they're not supposed to work on friendships? What the fuck worldview does this woman have? Women aren't supposed to have friends? Oh my God. Upset. They're working and make sure their parents are okay, that their siblings are okay, their neighbors are okay. They're, they do a lot because of their own innate sense of taking care of people and taking care of the children in their life, etc., And they want to know when they're with a guy that all he has to do is just say, meet me at this restaurant at 7 p.m. That... Uh, Taco Bell, Baja Blast, Quesalupa, large, 7 p.m. Fuck after. <gasps> That is like such a thing that women want. It makes them feel so good. So a guy's like, I don't care if she picks a place, like whatever, whatever she wants. Like, I mean, if she is there a place like around the corner from her that she, I don't no care. It's funny. Uh, it it's it starts to sound to me like feminism. The twos. You say fuck before Taco Bell, not after. But you fuck after if you have special tastes. Um, is one of the worst possible things for women in the long run. And one of the best possible things for guys in the long run, from a very like, what, what's the right way? From from a from a sort of mathematical perspective, so mm -hmm. guys used to have to work really hard, backbreaking labor, you know, wiping the sweat off their brow, covered in dirt, going down to the coal mines. Now, <laughs> I can't. I can't do it anymore. I can't, do, I can't do it anymore, Chad. I can't. I, do I? They've got women working to support themselves. Now the women are in the coal mines. Now the women are twice as big as men and they do death by snoo snoo. So the guys don't have to worry about it anymore. Women are not have they're not making the same demands of men in terms of, you know, sexual relationships. It's just go on Tinder and the guy doesn't have to worry about it. So what? now guys don't have to work. 
they've got all the time in the world because they don't have a biological clock in the same way as a woman. So there's. Does Tim think that men don't age? Does Does Tim think that men don't age? Oh, oh my God! He's so stupid. He's so fucking stupid. I told back you with their feet the up, right has no clue. Stress in the world. I'm being hyperbolic. Sure. But they're women are working. Mm -hmm. They're worried about what, how long, they, how much time they have before they can, you know, in order to have a family. Right. They're stressing about how to find the right guy, and guys are just True, sitting there Jessica swiping Metal. on Tinder while they're watching, you know, mm. porn. Yeah. <laughs> porn. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they're swiping on Tinder and watching porn, porn at the yeah, same time. Same time. Yeah. And they're like, "What am I worried about?" Right. I, I, I've got friends. You know, I grew. I, I grew up skateboarding, and all of these guys we know don't care about anything. Mm -hmm. They will. They will work a minimum wage job if it means that you can have ten people in a two bedroom apartment, so they can work only a couple days. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred bucks a month for rent, and they can skate the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. That's all they care about. Yeah. Those and guys, those dudes sound pog as shit. Those sound like people I want to be friends with. That is just so cool. Listen, a person who is willing to discard the pursuit of material things to become and to pursue mastery of their craft is so sexy, okay? That is so cool, okay? I'm sorry. That is a real life. Those men are living 10 times the life of Tim Pool. Tim Pool, who's hiding under his beanie and desperately crying about how much he jacks off into his Taco Bell meal. How many times, how many boxes, how many $5 dinner boxes he's filled up with, with just loads of cum because he's so sad. And, and every time he tech, he texts a woman and says, Taco Bell, seven o'clock, fuck now or fuck later. He, he doesn't succeed. And meanwhile, fucking chad chad fucking raiden or whatever his goddamn name is or or gabe gabe is his name that's the name of the skater friend i just imagine gabe he's got like a little soul patch kind of thing going on and he has gauges and he's like he's like got he's starting to gray and he's got like bags under his eyes and he's got wrinkles and he's at that skate park and he's like hey kids he's like guys i'm kind of old but let me show you something fucking cool and he does a cool trick and the kids are like, whoa, dude, how the fuck did you do that? And he's like, let me show you. And then they're like, where do you live? He's like, oh, I live on, I live in a box that I rent for a hundred dollars, but I, I just spend all day skating. And the kids are like, dude, you're so fucking cool, man. And then Tim Pool is like, how can he keep getting away with this? How can Gabe be, why do they like Gabe? And then this woman's like, yo, Gabe looks hot as fuck. And Gabe's like, listen, you don't gotta, you don't gotta say I'm hot. I'm just good at skating. And she's like, yeah, but please, will you fuck me in your box that's under the, that you pay a hundred dollars to live in? And then, and then she, he's like, if you want to, if you really want to, but the skateboard stays on and then they fuck. And then she's like, wow, I've never come this hard in my entire goddamn life. And then Gabe is like, yeah, I know. Anyway, I got some good weed. You want to share it? And then, and then she's like, yeah, fuck yeah. And then Tim's like, no, no, another Taco Bell box. No, no. <laughs> anyway and i look at the, the the guys who grew up in you know like ar around me from my neighborhood and everything mm -hmm. few of them you know have families but not by plan you know what i mean and then everyone else who kind of planned and worked and went to college they're sitting back with their feet up making tons of money their <sighs> careers and they're not worried at all and you mm -hmm. talk to them and they're like eh, i don't know you know when i'm 40 maybe i'll find a 25 year old they're not worried at all right Right. No. And also because they don't have a biological clock and all of that. And, but you know, you are a prime example of a guy. The mortal, the immortal men. And as the clock ticked downward and women slowly perished off of the earth, the, the men frozen in time marched onwards with nothing left to do but suck one another's dicks for all of eternity as the women had left them behind to the ravages of time. Guy who decided that wasn't enough and you manned up your own life 
Oh, sh- a- every night, 85 right? and Judy Derek. Sometimes you're intentionally. You're the guy who said, no, this is not fulfilling for me to only skateboard or sit Mongo on- the ball. My name is Gabe, and that is exactly what my life is like. Fuck yeah, Gabe. Fuck yeah. The couch or, or Tinder porn watch, right? <laughs> you decided that, no, I have potential. I have great potential. I don't even know my potential because I... I haven't even started it yet. And then you did, and you're still going, and you're still going. You're building a media empire, right? You're a man, and that's sexy to women. It is not (laughs) sexy for a guy to be sitting on the couch, you know, swiping on Tinder. Women don't. You can literally hear her teeth cracking from how hard she's gritting her teeth. Oh my God, she's gonna blow up. She's gonna blow up. I've never seen a woman more, more like, like ready. She's going to spit. Find that appealing. And, and there, but and it works know, for him. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't. There's also a lot of men who are depressed. A lot of men who, you know, unfortunately commit suicide. A lot of men who are overdosing, um, who are aimless and they're. Because of poverty. That's because of poverty. You dumb assholes getting older and they don't know how to get out of it and i'm hoping one of the silver linings of covid is that men who are forced to be alone that there was no other choice i don't like where this is going maybe maybe life needs a little more meaning and again that's where a partner a a woman or man in his life can help him get there thanks for checking out this All right, I'll check this Tim Pool clip, please. Oh, God. All right, the twos. Let's see. Oh, no. It's because of climate change. You is, know. Right, which is nonsense. No. <laughs> I can't possibly have babies because of climate change. You is, know. Right, which is nonsense. No, of course. But I do think it's crazy that I'm about to be 34 and I have no family. Because my, my dad had two kids by the time he was 27. Yep. And I'm like, man. You know what? You know what the problem is, though. It's definitely not me. Mm-hmm. I think it's everybody else. Yeah, I can't. Po- that one. 